kind of like the haircut in the back is like not fully cut. Mm. And then the chap lips. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a okay. thing for me. So, <laughs> yeah. Got it. Okay. Alice. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And today we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and be bringing out some single men. They're going to come out one by one. And when he comes around, you know, if he's your type, you know, the height, you know, beard, facial hair, whatever it is, you're feeling him, do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that's just like, oh, no, this is not my guy, go ahead and pop it. And I'll go over to each of you, see why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Okay, let's get some matches. So let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's Hello. your name? My name is Alistair. Alistair, how old are you? I'm 36 years old. 36, okay. And what do you do? I'm a deputy sheriff. All right, okay. And what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to travel. I like to go on trips. Okay. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, someone that's intelligent, very laid back, knows what she wants, mm -hmm. can allow me to lead. Okay. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers will be smokers. Mm. That's the number one thing, okay. smokers. Got it. Okay. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to these ladies and see why they ended up popping, yes. okay? All right. Let's start over here. If we can have your name and age. Alexis, and I'm 29. Okay. And Alexis, what do you do? I'm a realtor. Right. Nice. Now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, he just didn't really seem like too much my type, mm. and um, I don't know about the police, honestly. Okay, okay. <laughs> but you're an attractive man, so, you know, no thank hard you, feelings. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. All right, and now, Alistair, is Alexis someone that's your type? Of course, very attractive, very beautiful. It is someone that I will approach. Okay, thank right. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on to our next pop balloon over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. Okay. And Tiffany, what do you do? I am an exotic dancer, but I use my money from exotic dancing to fund my business ventures. Ooh, okay. <laughs> she an exotic dancer, so she a stripper. She a stripper. Damn. And now, uh, why, why did you end up popping your, your balloon? balloon? Well, first of all, he said that he don't, you know, like smokers. I'm a big smoker, and I don't think, you know, the police and an exotic dancer would mix. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I like the way you're built, you know, I like the age, I'm, I'm into older men, mm. so. Okay, got it. Thank you, thank you. And now, Alistair, is uh, Tiffany someone that's your type? Of course, very beautiful, very attractive, so definitely thank someone you. I'll approach. Okay, got it. So she's an exotic dancer, please don't mix. Is, is, that, <laughs> <laughs> is that something that would stop you from approaching her if you knew that? No, okay. no, it's, it's perfectly see. fine. But you tripping, bro. Like, you trying to date a stripper? That's crazy. You a cop, bro. You a cop. Why are you trying to date a stripper, bro? <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age. Yes, hi, I'm C and I'm 36. Okay. And C, what do you do? I'm in medical sales. All right. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, I just have to give it to you. You were the first guy to come out and I know that we can only pick one guy, so I'm just waiting. <laughs> She got it. She got to leave an option open, bro. She's like, screw you. I do not care. I'm going to leave my options open. So this is the reason why a lot of ladies go single, okay? You guys have an opportunity. You guys let that shit go just because you think there's a better option. There's a better opportunity out there. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Okay. But is he someone that is your type? Um, maybe if I got to know him a little bit better. <laughs> but, you know, right now I'm just waiting. Okay. All right, so uh, Alistair, is she someone that is your type? Very respectable individual. Looks like you can have a great conversation, and I like that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go on to our next lady. If we can have your name and age. My name is Nkiru, and I'm 32 years old. Okay, and what do you do? I work with a pharmaceutical company as a monitor. Okay, very nice. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I don't know, he's just not my type. Like, just... 
I don't know, if I'm busy enough of looks, he's just not my type. Okay. And what about him is not really your type? Uh, I don't really know. I just, I just don't feel a connection. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now, same thing, Alistair. Is she someone that you would approach? Uh, she's very respectable, very beautiful. I believe all the women here are beautiful. Mm. Okay. All right. Damn, bro. Like, God damn. Look, I'm not even going to lie, bro. Like, you can tell that she's definitely African, bro. She got the big ass yes, bro. Holy crap. She's a beautiful lady, by the way. Thank you. Let's go on to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Danielle, and I'm 35. Okay. Danielle, what do you do? I work at Human Resources. Nice. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, honestly, it's because he's the police. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with being okay. a cop? So apart from him being a police officer, he is someone that is your type? Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily go off of like, uh, looks per se. So if we had a conversation, maybe. Okay, but all right. He'd probably least. So. <laughs> That's a damn lie, bro. Whenever, whenever a lady say that they don't go for looks, or whenever anybody say that they don't go for looks, it's one hundred percent cap, bro. You got there's a threshold, but you gotta meet that threshold before they even talk to you, bro. They can talk to you like a normal person, but if they say that they don't care about looks, that's cap. <laughs> Okay, Alistair, I know you said everyone's beautiful, but is she someone that's your type? If you saw her out, you'd approach her? Uh, yes, I will approach her. Okay, and how we see this police thing is taking you out. Like, is that ever a problem when it comes to dating? I uh, know law enforcement is a very, you know, skeptical career to be in. Yeah. Um, I respect everyone. I joined this career because this was a calling for me. Yeah. And I like what I do. Okay, good. I'm a protector. So if you need someone to protect you, I'm someone to protect you. Period. <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. We did get a pop. If we can have your name and age. Caprice, 32. Okay, and Caprice, what do you do? I am a certified Christian life coach. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially, it just wasn't enough bass in your voice. Mm. Sorry. Okay. What? Alistair, I feel like I know what you're about to say, but... <laughs> what do you mean there's not enough bass in his voice? You want him to start talking like he got a raspy voice? Yeah, I'm a cop, blah, 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 man, blah, blah. You want him to talk like that? Alistair, I feel like I know what you're about to say, <laughs> but <laughs> you approach her if you see her out? Um, I'm respectable to everyone. I give everyone a chance to get to know you, sit down, have a conversation, let you know my goals in life, and I see your goals in life, and if we do match, we take it further from there. Keep, he, keeping it, he, keep, he keeping it simple. He's not saying too much. He's not doing too much. He's just keeping it simple. Just like a guy, he's, get, he's keeping it straightforward. He's not lying. He's just keeping it straightforward. If I like you, I like you. You're respectful, I respect you. It's a simple guy. He's just living a simple life, man. There's nothing wrong with the way the guy is talking. He's just being a very simple guy. And that's perfectly fine. I think, did I get everyone back here? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we do have one more pop balloon back here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Lexi, and I'm 27. Hey. Lexi, what do you do? I am a full-time biomedical science student and a birth doula. Oh, nice. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, um, unlike everybody else, like, the police thing didn't really bother me, mm. but, like, as I, like, kind of walked, it was, like, kind of like the haircut in the back is, like, not fully cut, mm. and then the chap lips. Yeah. Duh! It's kind of a okay. thing for me, so, <laughs> yeah. I got it, Okay. Alistair. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Why you gonna go to a dating show with chop lips, not your your bald head, not fully cut? Come on, bro. Like you know, you you should know better, bro. You you lucky these girls are a little bit respectful, but they could they could have easily disrespected you, bro. Like, come on, bro. You don't <laughs> <laughs> We all already know I'm your a, lines by now. <laughs> I'm respectable to criticism. That's that's you know, that's who I am as a person. Mm. You know, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. You know, I'm from the Caribbean. So we're used to criticism. And, but, you know, you're a beautiful individual. And I'm thankful for having me out here. And you all are very beautiful. Thank you. I'm a very respectful person. Thank you. And then we did get one last one down here. All right. If we can have your name and age. Kiana, 32. And Kiana, what do you do? Um, well, I'm in the health health feel mm -hmm. CNA also in real estate and I'm the supervisor at a, a shoe store so okay. yeah very nice We're very busy <laughs> and now why did you end up popping your balloon um I just felt like sticking to the code you know I didn't have no problem with the law enforcement and mm -hmm. whatnot but I don't know just feel like I should be sticking to a code or you know okay. what do you mean by sticking to the code just 
that's honestly like, you know, I just felt like everybody kind of reminded me and whatnot. So, yeah, that's just life. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. Reminded <laughs> you of what? <laughs> no, because, um, you know, I'm just mentioning about him being in law enforcement. And um, so I just felt, although I don't see it as a problem, there's always been a history behind it. Mm. So I just would just follow that. I don't follow too many, but I'll follow that. So yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Sticking to the code? You talking about the girl code or you talking about the code between uh but I've never came across a black girl that was that a black lady that said that they won't date a a, a cop because they're a cop. I've never came across people like that. But I'm not sure. She's probably saying sticking to the code, talking about the fact that everybody popped a balloon. I'm I'm, I'm probably tripping though, but like Ain't no way. <laughs> so, Alistair, so is she someone that you would approach if you saw her out? Yeah, I'm very respectable for every uh. individual that I meet. I'm very respectable. These things are fine, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. Let's go on back. So, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's give it up thank for him, you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, come on, bro. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.